To you of the future, I give every song. I believe this is a visual novel from 2011? December 22. Bear. The cold wind comes at me like it's cutting my cheeks. I reach for the can of coffee I just bought to keep from shivering. Yeah. Taking the can of coffee from my mouth, I exhale and the air comes out white. Cake shop. Right now, the Christmas fair is in progress. Mate rubble. Christmas. A Christmas Eve event will occur. Please take part in it. It's the season, huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the season, huh? Today is December 22. Uh, two more days till Christmas Eve. Sorry, I thought that was a year for some reason. <laughs> I was like, what? People are all wrapped up in the Christmas mood. The stores and houses are all illuminated, and here and there I can hear Christmas songs. In this festive atmosphere, children with their families and happy-looking laughing couples go, go to and fro. Sorry. Shopkeepers dressed as Santa, Santa and reindeer call out to the people going by. Santa Robo? Why isn't Santa also Robo? Right now, the Christmas fair is going on. And among the shopkeepers dressed in similar outfits are female androids. Oh, this must be the future, isn't it? Oh, well, that's the title, right? <laughs> Mirai no Kimito. Okay. And to think that only 10 years ago, one only found androids in manga, fantasy, etc. Now, androids are a real-world phenomenon and part of our daily lives. Mate Robo. Please, check it out. Oh, wait. That wasn't how <laughs> Please, check it out. Huh? I snap out of my reverie with a flyer being handed to me. An android is standing there in front of me wearing a god bolita made outfit. Comporting herself in an elegant manner and it's misspelled, but it's okay. It's understandable. Her facial expressions and speech are elegant, as a maid will be. Um, right. I take the pamphlet without thinking. So she speaks, um, elegantly, so it's... I don't know. Thank you so much. I shall await your return, master. I leave the silently bowing maid behind. I excel. Looking up, I see a clear December sky. Right before Christmas. The streets have a busy, bright mood about them. Man, oh man. In contrast to the scene, I'm gloomy and listless. The heck am I doing? <laughs> to change my mood, as I felt cold, I had gone out to see the town. Huh? Just then, my feet stopped. My eyes came to rest on a concert poster stuffed to a telephone pole. Seems like a band somewhere around here is having a Christmas concert. Concert, huh? My mood sank even lower. Though I tried desperately to forget, it isn't going to be that easy. What do I do now? I hold my breath and mutter. The world keeps turning. Although I was happy with the reunion with high school friends, culminating in a trip to the pub. Hey, you're drinking a little too much, aren't you? Mild headache and nausea. I have no idea how to pronounce nausea. 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 Whatever. You know what I mean. As the crowded street starts to thin out, I begin, I begin walking more slowly. I let out another long sigh with white breath. A sudden gust of cold air takes away what a what alcoholic warm is in my body. <sighs> the cold wind makes me involuntarily, evol 
Evolente. It's misspelled and I cannot even pronounce it myself. Oh my gosh. Involuntarily stop. And I find myself looking at the starry sky. The sky is clear. I can focus on one of the stars. So, what are you doing now? The sort of questions someone I hadn't seen for a long time will ask. However, I couldn't say. What are you doing here, huh? That's what I'd like to know. Even with the power of alcohol, the great mood I'm bearing has not yet cleared. No good, no good. The more I think about it, the more it tires me out. Is it that alcohol makes you more depressed? Actually, yeah, it does. <laughs> it's a depressant. I need to get home and sleep. Even if I can't forget everything, sleep should give me a little comfort. And so I start to hurry back the way I came. Right after I enter a quiet residential street, I see a reflection out of the corner of my eye. What's that? I pause and turn and look. In the street corner, the darkness of night, a dim object is unveiled. A mannequin? The more I look, the more I see that this is not what it is. Whoa! Under the cold winter air, there lies a girl. The cold air blows over the abandoned looking girl. What is she doing here now? Why did she not catch her death of cold? Death of cold, sleeping out in this freezing wind. Those thoughts race through my mind. With concern, I run over to the girl. Are you alright? Is anything the matter? Girl. But... I shake off my remaining drunkenness. <laughs> that scene is quite a shock for me. Even in this winter weather, she appears to be sleeping quietly. But that's not the point. It's her appearance. What the hell? Her otherwise naked body is wrapped around with tape. Even under the dimly lit street, her white luster... White luster is quite captivating. Oh, uh, hello? What, what, what is she doing here like this? Trying not to look at her too directly. I appraise the situation with a sideways glance. I get the fake feeling that my heart is going to burst. <laughs> Calm down. This is not that kind of situation. However much you might say, I have no experience with girls. This is considered for a human life. Oh, typical. Typical dating simulator. In this disturbing kind of situation, what do I do? Got to pull myself together. It's a matter of rescue. Rescue. So I mutter, I look back at here once more. The music is kind of funny. Wow. <laughs> I look at her again. Truly, she does look amazing like that. I'm dressed like that on a winter night like this. In this place. Alright, enough with this. I shake my head vigorously to get rid of the silly ideas. My first concern must be for her safety. Hey, are you alright? Hey, can you hear me? Wake up. Hello? If you can hear me, please answer. Shout right in her ear. But there's no sign of an answer. She's dead. Alright, what's next? No, sorry. 
All right, what next? Right, I'll get an ambulance. I had been forgetting the most important thing. Take the cell phone out of my pocket and punch in the numbers fast. One, one, seven. Momentarily, there's an electronic sound and I hear the time, the time being announced. What? This is just the time. This was supposed to be the emergency number. Wait, what's going on? So how do I get in an ambulance? Of course, I'm confused. The ambulance is 119. Wait, what did you call? Just as I remember this, the phone made a beep 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 noise and went dead. Hello? Battery must have depleted. I hadn't charged it recently. Oh, you stupid! Oh my gosh, bro. Actually, charge your phone. I'm like one of those people that cannot have like their phones like at 10% or less. Like, no, like, charge it, please. I have like something with you. Okay. Oh, why now? Even if I wanted to ask someone for help, there's no one else in the street. On the street. And I don't recall, I don't recall seeing any public phones around here. Then I'll just have to carry her to the hospital myself. So I decided and looked back to her again. Hmm? I noticed something. Looks like there's some kind of marking on her arm. What's this thing? Oh, as I think about it, possibility comes to mind. Maybe this girl is. That's it. The markings are red numerals. The markings are red numerals. Zero one. True to my expectations, it's clearly printed on her left arm. So that's the way of it. Sigh with relief. At last, understanding. I've seen them on TV and in magazines, etc. But this is the first time I've seen one in real life. What this is, it's not a girl at all, but a musical android. Startled the heck out of me. I hear things about this. But forgot about it for lack of interest. Do you think androids have prolifer proliferated to the point where illegal dumping has become a problem? Man, some people. Thanks to this, I worry about how many years we're taking off my life. What? Although, had I thought calmly, I might have realized it more quickly. Thinking it's my style to be all confused like this makes me smile bitterly. Well, guess I'll head on back. Wait, you're gonna leave her alone? Now that I know it's one of those musical androids, there's no need to hang around. What the hell? I'm going to take a bath to get warmed up and then go to sleep. Hello? You're gonna leave her alone? Wow, I hate this character. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I lost resp zero respect for you. I have zero respect for you. You're gone. You don't exist in my mind. Okay, I need to stop. This is what I'm thinking, but my body isn't moving. I look over the android again. I just can't stop looking at her. Should I really go? I mean, should I really just go back and leave her? Some thoughtless person left her out here. I should take care of her. Yeah, exactly. Take care of her. You mean person. <laughs> hmm. It's not like I can do much about it. Yes, you can. What? Am I going to take it home with... Take it? It? Hello? Okay, well, I mean... Couldn't you say them? I'm just kidding. <laughs> or something. I mean, who knows what kind of trouble I'll get caught up in. It's never that simple. I'd best ignore her, go about my usual business. But it's like it's like the like the angel the angel on one shoulder and then the devil on the other shoulder. Now I'm the angel and I'm just screaming at this dude like pick her up! Save her for goodness sake! So annoying. <laughs> no second thoughts, please. After all, I can't abandon her, can I? Yeah, exactly. I win. 
just one person and an Andre lying on the cold pavement. It's the middle of the night. Nobody's there to see this. <laughs> I'm not cold hearted enough to abandon her. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I have to convince you. The little good angel on your shoulder. <laughs> I'm kidding. So what now? How many times have I said that today? Aware of my duty to my fellow man, my conscience wins. The conscience is me. Oof. I place both my hands behind her knees, right? And lift, lift her onto my back, draped over me. Eh? Whatever. Whoa! She feels so soft! In this way, one wouldn't know she was an android or anything. From touching her fingers or her arms, along with the weight, this is what I feel as I carry her. More importantly, what happens if someone sees me carrying her this way? Yeah, I was thinking the same exact way. I was thinking that. I was like, wait, why are you carrying her like that? For some silly reason, my heart is feeling so loud. So agitated and nervous, I keep taking deep breaths. Hmm? The mark of zero one on her left arm. There's something smaller printed beneath that all one. It's too dark to see it well. Atsumiku? It's probably her name, since it's written using the alphabet. Miku, huh? See Daisy. What? With her still holding on to me, I slowly lift her up. Now with both arms under her back and knees, I carry her like a princess. Good. I was thinking the exact same thing in the beginning. <laughs> Together with a package wrapped in a thick cord. Okay. I'm interested in what's inside. I can wait till I get home. Oh, must have forget this either. Just as I start to walk, I recall it. White CDR comes into view in the dark of night. Perhaps this is something that belongs with Miku. I'll put it here. I stuff the CDR in my pocket. Start to hurry down the road home. Because embracing each other like this isn't proper. Carrying a sleepy naked girl. Heart pounding and lightheaded. I hurried on my way back. Oh. Well, I'm back. <laughs> the speed of sound. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a time skip, I get it. Somehow or other, I made it home. And luckily, nobody was watching us. Just before I use my key, the door the doorknob of a neighbor's door starts to move. My heart skips a beat. More importantly, though, I'm beat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are those puns? I don't think I've ever in my life felt this tired. And not just physically, but mentally, too. Miku continues to sleep in my arms. Seeing her defenseless like this, somehow I feel strangely guilty, downright uncomfortable. Is this wrong? I don't believe I did something wrong. I didn't steal her or kidnap her. She was just thrown away. I'm rationalizing. Put it out of mind. Instead of laying Miku down on the futon. Fut futon. I don't know how to say it. Futon. 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 Also, I pulled the cover over the f Oh my god, how do you say this in English? The futon to put her out of view. Finally, I turn on the lights in the room. Yeah. I'm relieved. Finally, I calm down. These androids perfectly resemble real girls. <laughs> Not only that. Beautiful ones too. Oh! 
Raising, raising Miku, huh? Raising Miku up. Rizzler, watch out for the Rizzler. Without realizing it, I picture Miku's figure in my mind. <sighs> what am I thinking about here? Instead of that, I should be thinking about what's going to happen from now on. I managed to carry her here. Now what do I do? Oh. Out from the Fulton sticks a small bag. That was Miku's item wrapped in the thick cord. If I look at it, maybe I can tell what it is. Without touching Miku, I take the item and open it to see it. Let's see. The first thing I see is some instructions. Installation instructions, system requirements, and a packing list. Packing list. Such and such. Only the instruction papers, I confirm the contents. According to the packing list, the contents are the unit itself, a cover for it, and a link cable. Well, it's all there. Next, I take a look at the system requirements. It ought to say something like, not for use by guys with bad intentions. <laughs> Definitely. I have a notebook PC that I received for entering college. Although I've almost never used it. As I recall, I left it over there. I wonder if it still works. I take the PC and press the power button. Doesn't work? I didn't tend to it, so the battery must be dead. Hmm. Need to get some power to it. Looking at this old PC, I already got a setback. Okay, how about this? I hook a power adapter up to the PC and plug it in. Oh, look, look at that. This time when I press the switch, there's a faint worrying noise and the startup screen comes up. Well, I guess that did the trick. So it was just a power after all. Let's see now, but the specs... Should be under properties. There it is. I compare the, the required specs with the one shown on screen. According to this, it satisfies the specs well enough. Hmm. Does this mean I'll be able to use Miku? From talking to myself, something makes me lapse into silence. Thought pops into my head, unavoidably. Unavoidably, yeah. Jizz, should I actually try to activate Miku? Wait! Who knows what might happen if I do that? What will I do after I activate her? I hadn't even thought about that. But it's there. I have to try it. It's possible she was left out there because she was broken. I just want to find out if that's the case. If she isn't broken, that was a rather awful thing to do. Even considering this, it seems the possibility is slight that she really works. Oh yeah, let me save. <laughs> Wait, is it? Um, save. There you go. Back. I don't know why it doesn't work. Still, there's no harm in trying. I'm wondering what to do, but it isn't too late. Yeah, that's right. But I had a feeling about it. Surely Miku will work. I had this mysterious premonition of it happening. Now, where to begin? Number one, power up your PC. PC. Pasokon. Okay, I already did that. But not a desktop like the one shown. Wait, what? Okay. Next. Number two. Connect Miku to the PC using the provided link cable. Ah, I see. Take the main unit out of the package. Main unit? What main unit? Ah, that's silly. I rub my eyes and stare at the instructions. Number two. Remove the connector part from the packaging and connect the main unit, Miku, to the PC using the provided cable. 
Remove the packaging. In other words, Miku needs to be undressed. <laughs> what? I have to strip her naked. <laughs> oh. That's pre that's preposterous. I don't know what that means. <laughs> to connect her, I have to remove the cloth. Cloth, sorry. Wrapped around her chest and hips. It says right here around her chest. Oh no! Here we goes. <laughs> here we go. No way. No way! <clears throat> As I imagine, Miku like a body. I turn away my plaster face. <laughs> This is just an android. <laughs> Close your eyes! <laughs> Take it over. Call a woman or something. I don't know. Take it over. She can't be connected without taking a step. <laughs> then my eyes fall in a warning notice. Failure to expose the necessary portion before attempted to connect can cause it to break down. Huh? Why will, why will not remove the package because it breaks down? But if it's in the menu, I guess I better do it. Oh, God. I raise my head and look over at Miku. Stay calm! It's not like I'm going to do anything to her. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to do anything to her. Well, I actually I am. But only removing the packaging. <laughs> Just the wrapping the different robo. There's nothing particularly dirty about it. Or so I tell myself. Trying to suppress my agitation a minute. Why are you like this, special novel? I get it. But no, I don't get it, actually. I don't get it. I breathe deeply in order to calm my pounding heart. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Aww. I'm only going to the photon in such a way that I won't be seeing her. Good. Um, excuse me. Wait, who said that? <laughs> I went in the gap between her and the photo with my hand and removed the packaging tape for Miku. You see my fingers in such a way that I try my best not to actually touch Miku Masi. <laughs> Next time I mix my head shake and I try to suppress the package on my pretty. Then my, then my, what? Then my approaches? The front of her body where the rest of the tape is. Touch. <laughs> As soon as I noticed it, I dropped back my hand. I'm so sorry. It wasn't on purpose, really, was it? I apologize by reflex, but of course she doesn't respond. Oh, man. This is embarrassing for me. I'm having secondhand embarrassment. At times like this, I curse my like I experience. I'm exhausted. After that stressful affair, she finally connected. She's finally connected. How long did he? How long did it take for him? Considering how embarrassed he was, he was probably took like an hour to be very delicate. Ah, there you go. Then it automatically starts to install on the drive, and the initiali initialization begins. I have to wait a few minutes before Miku can activate. Miku herself isn't doing anything; just continues to sleep peacefully. With her pretty face and neutral expression, I had the impression of a person on stage in the middle of a story. Wait, what? To me, Miku resembles a sleeping princess. Her white skin, flowing hair, small lips, and nose. Sorry. To the extent that she want, I mean, that she has those innocent features, the way her face is composed. I suppose anyone who saw her will acknowledge her beauty. Though, if I had to say, she's somewhat, well, actually, quite lacking in womanly curves. But she certainly is cute. I'm rolling my eyes right now. I was so caught up in looking at her face that I didn't notice the passing time. However, 
Even being this fascinated, I start to get rather impatient. From what I see on the PC screen, you could initialize it. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce that. Initialization still has a few minutes to go. Maybe I should get a cup of coffee. Stand up and head for the kitchen. Come to think of it, I never used that CDR for anything. I thought it would be necessary to get her to operate, but I was wrong. Because it was already automatically installing to my PC. Oh no. Mm, could it be like... I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, like one side of me says, oh, it could be like her personality. I don't think that will be pointless. Yeah, like, I guess like songs in it. Or so, I don't know. I plug in the pot and get the water boiling. While that's going, I put the coffee grounds in the cup. So then that wasn't related to Miku? But that... But that CDR was being carried by Miku, and there's no mistake. Meanwhile, maybe I should see what's on it. I think that as I pour the hot water into the cup. Initialization complete. Starting up. Beep, 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 beep. Whoa! I hear a woman's voice coming from the other room and drop the cup of coffee. I glance around the room, but I'm still the only one here. Okay. Wait, was that Miku? Leaving the cup of coffee, I rush blindly over to where Miku is. The PC displays. Initialization complete. Looks like it's all finished. I bend down near Miku and wait for her to wake up. Oh, okay. After blinking a number of times, Miko awakens from her deep sleep. A light appears from her eyes. She begins to come alive. Miku arises and begins to move about. And the futon rolls up. Meanwhile, the remainder of the tape wrapped around her slowly falls off. I can see her! <sighs> oh, <come up! laughs> I've ready my gaze. I use the futon blanket to cover Miku's body. That's good. Phew. That wasn't good. I breathe a sigh of relief. Glancing around, I see that Miku is looking directly at me. Already the blanket... Already... What? Already the blanket has started to come off. And Miku is staring at me. Suddenly, she smiles proudly. She smiles a brilliant smile. Pure and innocent. And I feel that she has grabbed a hold of my heart. And... Huh. She throws herself at me! No! She's naked! Get away! Whoa! It throws me tittering off balance, but I managed to catch her! Me! Me! She's like a cat! Meow! Meow! <laughs> Is she glad I caught her? She puts both arms around my back and clings to me tightly. Pushing her face against my chest. And she's naked. <laughs> I can feel the warmth of her body directly. <laughs> this is plenty good enough to make me tremble with excitement. I feel so I'm not gonna read this! I know that my face is flushed red with embarrassment. Miku nestles close and snuggles up to me. She's so cute! With this puppy-like gesture, though I desperately want to embrace her, I can't control myself and push my hands against her shoulders. Let me go! Let me go for a second! <laughs> she inclines her head upon hearing my desperate plea. Man, she's cute. 
かわいいなぁ。Please let me go, I'm begging you!And when I say begging, I mean it!We stay like this, I'll lose, I'll lose my reason.Hello? うん。Bang boom sound effect right here?Hello? Get the fuck away, please! Me! Can I skip this part, please? <laughs> Need to cover up! Me? <laughs> Let's see, questioning voice. Huh? Me? Could it be that you can't talk? Me? Me? She's trying to say something, I know that. She's not speaking words, only not making- only making the sound me. <laughs> She's like a Pokemon. <laughs> Is this what's wrong with her that caused her to be thrown away? <coughs> Before I know it, Iku's face is close to mine and she's looking at me. What? Back to the position from before. Who gets so close? <laughs> Please. Me. Although she looks vaguely sadder and dishonest when Miku complies. <sighs> and now I'm able to breathe again. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> Things are getting a little bit too crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Anyways. Uh, how do I go back? Oh. Okay, well. I hope you like it. <laughs> Part two will be coming. I don't really know when, cause um I'm gonna be away for like vacations. I'm gonna be on vacations basically, and um yeah, I'm I'm actually really liking the visual. Novel. It's kind of funny, a little bit um hentai-ish, but it's funny, and I cannot wait to see what happens to Miko, as well as the main protagonist. Oh yes, okay, bye. See you soon.